In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of the Mix or Match Bundle Discount Builder on Clover. Um, and I'm going to run through a number of different use case scenarios for discounting. Right, so the first one is really easy. It's the bundle discount, buy three and get a discount. So I've kind of pre-configured it already to make it a little bit easier for us to get through this. So I have a name. This will show up on all of the transactions as a discount that you're doing, bundle discount. Um, we have a discount schedule, so I can just check this one box that says all day event, and then it just says that, you know, it's going to trigger on this day, starting at zero, going for 24 hours, and it's recurring, meaning that while it starts on this day, it goes on every week, on Monday, Tuesday, basically every day of the week, without an end. In other words, it always triggers all the time, starting from that date, all right? And then we can control the discount amount. We can make it a percentage or we can make it a dollar amount. So let me just go ahead and put $2.50 in here real quick, like so. And then we go next. This is the bundling options. As far as, you know, when you select two items, those two items can be a mix, basically two different barcodes, or they can be a match, meaning it has to be two Snickers or two Mars or two Bounty, right? Um, but let's just go ahead and keep it on mix. And then we say that we want to trigger on every three items. So a third item gets a discount, um, not all items get a discount. So you have to buy three and then you get this one discount one time, right? If you select this option and put three here, that means that they have to get up to three and then they can uh, do a discount. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save this. This is inventory selection, which items get to participate in this particular discount. So I'm going to go into my no categories. I'm going to select Coke and a bike. Sorry, don't have Snickers in my inventory. Uh, this is the priority, right? So which I guess discounted to a zero, because if the dollar, like you're trying to discount is more than, um, my apologies, is more than uh, what you're trying to discount and we're going to discount one item to zero and then go to the next one so here you can say do this one first and then go to coke all right and then i'm going to save and so here's my discount here let's not pay attention to this happy hour one because it's inactive so this one is activated um, and now i'm going to go to register to kind of quickly demonstrate how that particular discount works i'm going to go to my bike right and my cloud crm setup and uh, all right, so we have it as one. We're gonna go ahead and add it as two, and then add it as three, and there is our discount. Let me go ahead and get rid of one of these items, um, and the discount is removed. Okay, and let me go ahead and add Coke, and the discount is added. And so that's basically a uh, bundle discount functionality. Now, if we take this up to six, it's going to issue another $2.50. Uh, watch, I can basically go like this, uh, or I could go here and say, you know, there, we actually got it up to six there. There's six, and the discount now is five bucks. So basically, that's how this discount works. And... It does show up on reports afterwards, and it does show up on the receipt as well. Um, this is what it looks like on the receipt. Okay, now um, let me show you a, a happy hour discount. All right, so I'm gonna navigate back to our mix or match. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable this one for a second. Now, both of these can work. Uh, but just for clarity purposes, I want to kind of disable one or the other. But if you turn both of these on, essentially our app is only going to allow you to trigger one discount on the item. So it will ask you which one you'd like to apply. But again, for clarity purposes, I'm just going to use one at a time. All right. So let me show you how this one is set up. We have the name. We have the starting point. Now, because this is a happy hour, I'm specifying specific times, right? So I want to say that... This is a weird time frame, but because I am right now in the 7 o'clock time frame, I'd like this discount to be triggered now. So I'm saying that my discount is at 6 a.m. and it goes on for 13 hours, okay? Uh, and we're doing a dollar off. There it is. We can also do percentage. And we're triggering this thing uh, every day of the week. But again, we can not do this. We can say, 
you know what we do this Monday through Thursday and that's it all right so that's only the days we do okay and that will be fine and then we go next now here I'm gonna say trigger on all items after the first one because we're not trying to do a bundle here we're just trying to do a happy hour so that's how I would express that and I would say that it's a mix okay and then here what I'd like to do is show you that Instead of going through items, because, you know, for happy hour, most likely you have the whole thing selected. Um, so we have this button that says select entire inventory. So you click this button and your entire inventory is selected there. Uh, whatever little items I have. And then um, we go ahead and do the save. And now we have the happy hour discount uh, set up. And let me go ahead and show you how that would run. So we go into the register and theoretically every item should trigger a happy hour. I'm sorry, this app is going to keep triggering until I decide uh, to assign a customer. So let me go ahead and assign a customer. All right, so there it is. We selected an item and it triggers. We select another one, it triggers. We select this one, it triggers. And it's going to keep triggering. Right? So that's so that's happy hour. Um, now, the employee discount on a, is not something that you can do on a mix and match. However, let me show you that it can easily be done on a Clover itself. For example, you can go into any one of these items and you can click on Add Discount. And, um, you know, these discounts can be set up on Clover. In fact, why don't I show you how that's done real quick. All right, so for employee discount, I went into just a native Clover app. It's available on Clover on its own, um, where you can create um, these discounts. You can give it a name. You can say that it's a percentage or amount and enable it. Now, these discounts, they don't trigger automatically, but you know, for employee discount, you actually don't want to trigger it automatically, so that works out great, and it works in concert with what we're doing. So I'm back to this transaction that we're in the middle of and I'm going to go to add discount and my employee discount 50% is right there. Uh, the only thing is that it's not order level, it's item level, right? So you can, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's item level. So you'd have to add it to each item or however you'd want to do it. But basically the main, the employee discount because the triggering of employee discount is purely discretional, it would happen through the register uh, app itself. You know, you can just do it here. Uh, and these things can be predefined by going into an app called Discounts on Clover itself. Okay, and um, buy four chocolates, get one free. So getting one free is a bit of a stretch there, but say you're doing this with an exact item, right? So um, let me just go back to this bundle. If you can figure out, you know, what, like how much, let's say that you have, uh, I'm going to go back to my snicker analogy, right? So we're using snicker, uh, boxes, uh, snicker, uh, candy bars, and let's say they're a dollar each, right? And so if you buy four candy and you want to get one free, well, Getting one free, that's one way of expressing it. Another way of expressing it is saying that, you know, if you buy four chocolates, you're going to get a dollar off, right? So we can do it that way. We can say that you're going to get a dollar off um, if you get uh, four chocolates. Um, and that would be equivalent of getting it free. But there's really no way for us to kind of, like, this is not a get, like, the, the, the bundles here are not, like... We don't do the free part yet, um, maybe later. But if, if, if free can be converted to some dollar amount, then it can be expressed in this app. So another question we have is, can this discount be applied by scanning a UPC or QR code? Absolutely. Uh, we, can scan, we can scan UPCs or it's just that I didn't really have ones here. But yes, you can definitely scan. Can we buy four chocolates or get one free? Detect the higher price items to charge for those. Right, so yes, uh, as you saw, there was a way to control the priority of which item gets discounted first uh, when you're setting it up, right? And then for BOGO, which is buy one, get one, um, 
definitely not with variants or modifiers. And further, the whole BOGO concept is rather difficult because it needs to be converted to uh, dollar amounts. But other than that, everything else, I think on, on the list of questions, we can definitely handle this way. I hope this is helpful.